Thousand Oaks, California, May 2017. Ancient astronaut theorist Giorgio Suclos visits the Ventura Biocenter to examine one of Earth's most curious creatures, the bombardier beetle. This little bug is a marvel of evolution, or some say, intelligent design. Peter, good to Georgia. see you. Nice How to are see you? And this All is right. Tom. Hi. Hello, Tom. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. Pleasure. How's it going? Tom is our insect wrangler and is going to help us set up a demonstration on one of the coolest animals on Earth, the bombardier beetle. That's fantastic because about a year ago, Eric von Daniken gave me his latest manuscript for his newest book. And we all know that there are these multiple creatures that seem to defy Darwinian evolution. And one creature that jumped out at me that I hadn't heard before was this beetle right here. This beetle is fascinating from an evolutionary point of view. In fact, it's been used by many people to suggest that evolution doesn't work at all. And the reason is the enormous complexity of this thing. This animal is a chemical warrior. It's able to shoot out boiling hot streams of a really toxic liquid that have the same sort of mix as rocket fuel. That's amazing. And it can shoot over 500 of these bursts per second. But the process happens so fast, it's almost in a blink of an eye. So we have a high-speed camera over here that can shoot about 2,500 frames per second. And with that camera, we can slow down this process. And in seeing that process, we can work out the exact sequence of events. So let's set this up with Tom and watch this take place. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so what I've got is some uh, non-toxic, very mild adhesive, and I'm just gonna touch it to the beetle's back, and that will suspend him in the air. We're gonna give him a little bit of stimulation with these forceps. Simulates the predator and makes him feel defensive. Oh, there it was. While it is almost imperceptible to the naked eye, with the high-speed camera, the beetle can be seen blasting rapid-fire streams of deadly chemicals directed at any would-be predator. Oh, there wow, goes. how cool. Projected it in that particular direction. Right. You can actually see the squirts, the mist, the vapor. The appendage which allows this to happen can rotate. It can move back and forth. So it can shoot this in lots of different directions. Yeah, this is really awesome. Dr. Ward has set up a computer-generated model of the bombardier beetle to show Giorgio the incredible process that is taking place inside its body. You've got the organs that produce the chemicals, and two separate chemicals are being made. We've got this hydroquinone, which is actually a makeup of the organics of the creature. It's part of its external skeleton. The second one is a chemical called hydrogen peroxide, which is rocket fuel. Now, if we combine these two together in a chamber, what we can do is build this chemical material that's going to get really hot and blast out the back of the bug. So one of the coolest things about this whole system is got a one-way valve. Once this chemical concoction that's getting really hot starts reacting, the last thing you want is having to blast back into the interior of your body. So it can direct it, squirts out this super hot, super toxic material into that predator's face. And one has to wonder, what was the evolutionary process of this beetle for that defense mechanism to even exist? Yeah, that's the critical question. If evolution takes place in step by step, what's the intermediate? How does this thing not blow itself up as it's experimenting through time? How do you go from just a garden, garden variety beetle to a super beetle like this? Mm -hmm. One has to wonder if this creature perhaps was brought here in its finished form, or at least the genetic material for this creature came here as a finished product. Could the physiology of the bombardier beetle be proof that there are animals on this planet of extraterrestrial design? The gases that the beetle emits can burn the skin of humans. And if the mechanism it holds within its body was constructed on a larger scale, it could be a very deadly chemical weapon. Is it possible that aliens place certain creatures on this planet so that humans can learn from them and recreate their abilities. 